Today's video is sponsored by Green Chef. Mm. Mm. I love that. Oh my gosh. I've been seeing these layered potatoes around for quite a while now. I know a few years ago, Chef Brian Talbot released a video about the crispy potato stack, and then also a cook named Matt did a video on it, and then recently I saw Emmy Made in Japan covering these. Now, Emmy Made in Japan specifically did the recipe from Poppy Cooks on TikTok. Uh, now, that video recently went fairly viral, Emmy Made in Japan's covering it, now, and I'm covering it now, except I'm gonna do a change. I'm not gonna use duck fat, because I make pretty much all plant-based recipes, I'm gonna make this plant-based. So let's make our own version of an incredibly flavorful vegan duck fat, just a vegan fat that has a ton of flavor in it, uh, and let's make ourselves a plant-based potato stack that's just out of this world. So the very first thing that we have to do to make our 15-hour potatoes even better is to get rid of that duck fat. And to do that, we're gonna do that with a combination of a few different oils and fats, uh, along with some veg. I have three organic carrots here that still have the stalks on. We're gonna be using that to kind of replicate some of those like earthy tones. The carrots are gonna help with the color. Uh, and then we also have a quarter of a yellow onion. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean these carrots and then just shred them. I'm gonna chop the stalks off, but I'm gonna chop at the leaf to save the leafy bits. I'm gonna go ahead and add these leafy bits right in. Okay, once you've made a significant mess with your carrots, go ahead and set those aside and then mince up your quarter onion. We're gonna mince this pretty fine. Now that we have our onion and carrot minced up, we're gonna go ahead and add our onion, carrot, and about half of our carrot stalks to a medium saucepan. And then along with that, we're gonna add a half of a cup of vegetable shortening, a half of a cup of coconut oil, and a quarter cup of olive oil. Go ahead and throw that on a medium heat. Let everything kind of come up to a simmer. Turn the heat down. We're gonna leave the lid off of this. And we're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes. We're also gonna add about a tablespoon of mushroom seasoning to this. If you don't have mushroom seasoning, just go ahead and throw in some nutritional yeast. Okay, so our carrots and onions are boiling in their fat. It's gonna release a ton of flavor. That mushroom seasoning is gonna add a pinch of umami. I mean, you could really flavor this fat how you like. You can even add just maybe even like a touch of Marmite or something in there to kind of give it a little bit meatiness. I have seven gold potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and peel these potatoes and then we're gonna slice them really thin on a mandolin. Okay, so our potatoes are sliced up. We're gonna go ahead and strain our fat, our vegan duck fat, uh, into a bowl. We're gonna use a wire mesh strainer. We're gonna actually gonna run this through two strains. So go ahead and strain it the first time, kind of press through the carrots to get as much of that oil uh, down through. Now you can see there's still some solids in this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain this through a nut milk bag. Um, if you have just a cheesecloth, you can use that. But that's gonna really just make this to where this is just the fat. And there it is, that is our vegan duck fat. Um, it has a really nice, rich smell, a lot of it from the carrots, but I'm telling you, adding that mushroom seasoning, everything else that's in there, the onions, the carrot stems, uh, along with those multiple different fats is really going to make this uh, an incredible vegan duck fat replacement. Hey gang, let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable with plans to fit every kind of lifestyle. With meal plans including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. Now I've been using Green Chef for quite a while and I will say their meals are just as they describe, easy and affordable. Today for lunch, I'm gonna be making the roasted veggies with tahini. This is gonna be good. The recipes are quick and easy with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you along. Green Chef's expert chefs design flavorful recipes for your lifestyle that go way beyond ordinary substitutions. And Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of its direct carbon emissions and plastic packaging in every box. I mean, it's just amazing what you can make with this. I mean, look at this. And that took me a half an hour while wow, it was good. The butternut squash with the couscous, this is delicious. So gang, make sure you go to greenchef.us slash saucestash90 and use code saucestash90 to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Thanks, Green Chef. So now that we have our potatoes and duck fat, we're gonna go ahead and use uh, a heavy quarter cup of the duck fat into a large bowl. Then we're just gonna add all of the potatoes, kind of tossing them through. Now the potatoes stick to each other, so just make sure that none of them are stuck and they all get coated really nice with that fat mixture. Once these are really nice and coated, just add about a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now at this point, I'm just bringing in a bread pan with a large piece of awkwardly cut parchment paper. 
Now I'm terrible at these parchment paper cutting things, but I think this is still gonna work. Now our next step is we're just going to take these guys and layer them up at the bottom of this pan and then make sure they're fairly evenly layered as, it's, as even as we can get and that there's a load of coverage. We're creating a potato and fat lasagna. Okay, our potatoes are pressed in pretty nice. I'm just gonna fold the parchment paper over. I'm just gonna use a second bread pan and just press down in, give these guys a nice solid press. Now we're just gonna throw this in the oven to bake at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for the next three hours. This is actually taking uh, about uh, 18, 16 hours, 17 hours maybe. But yeah, let's go ahead and bake these. Okay, so these have been in the oven for about three hours. They smell pretty awesome. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and check just by sticking a, uh, just a knife down through just to make sure that these are soft. Everything's pretty much ready to roll, just like butter. So we're just gonna go ahead and fold the parchment paper back over again on top of itself. We're gonna use an additional bread pan here and just press down pretty firm. Then I'm just gonna use some mason jars filled with water to go ahead and just add some weight to this to kind of keep it pressed down, to keep it nice and firm. We're gonna throw this in the fridge for about the next 12, 13 hours. I'm gonna throw it in overnight. I'm gonna let this cool down for just a minute before I toss it in the fridge. So let's get that going. Okay, like I said, I didn't start filming right away. It's pretty much, it's 12 o'clock. So that means these have sat in the fridge for 15 hours. I'm gonna do what Emmy did and just kind of work around the edges here. Perfect. Ha! So then all we wanna do is just carefully unwrap this. Um, it's pretty solid. I think it's all baked in really nice. The potatoes are pressed really nicely together. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill our pan up with some peanut oil, uh, about two or three inches of oil in it. Make sure you don't overflow it. You wanna be able to have enough room to fry. Uh, we're gonna heat that up to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna cut this into two inch cubes, essentially. I'm just gonna use, um, it's about an inch and a half cubes. I'm just gonna use two fingers and just kind of place it as my line. Uh, I know the original video used a ruler, but we're just gonna use the potatoes themselves as a stack here. And this last one's gonna be just a bit smaller. And then you can see what we're left with is these little layered cubes of potatoes. Now at this point, we're just gonna throw these into the fryer until they are nice and golden brown, nice and crispy. The layers should kind of flake up a little bit. We should, some of them might come apart, that's okay. But once this is all done, you should have an incredibly crispy potato. And then, oh my gosh, look at these things. Look at them. Oh, look at the layers. Look at the layers. That is potato layer goodness. You really don't get better than that. Oh, just Wonderful. This is it, the 15 hour potatoes this, that took me 20 hours to make. This looks awesome. Okay. Mm. Mm. I love that. Oh my gosh. I love like potato layers. It's so funny, Emmy made in Japan, she said that these reminded her of tater tots, but that's a million times better than a tater tot. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could see how she's saying that, but just because of the taste, but the layers definitely give it a whole different like, whole different texture. This is out of this world. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Wow. Mm -hmm. 